For all the talk about dedicated virtual reality companies like Oculus or Valve, the company that actually probably brought the most people to the technology was Google, thanks to its super cheap cardboard viewer that let you drop in your phone and get in on VR at rock bottom prices. Now, Google is introducing its daydream VR platform with The View which is a $79 headset that takes the promise of the cardboard and makes it much more comfortable. Now, as you can see, this thing is basically like the fleece jogger of VR headsets. The face mask is removable and actually hand washable, but it's not just bare foam. It's sculpted. There's a little bit of light leakage, but not too much. And really, it cuts down on getting that impression that a VR headset can leave on your face, whether that's a mobile-driven headset or a PC-driven one, and a very, very easy, simple fabric strap. In order to use it, just like any other mobile VR solution, you turn on your phone, and then here, drop it in, and if all goes according to plan, it pairs via NFC. You open it, it kind of auto-aligns and there's nothing to do. You put it on, you connect the controller, and it pairs via Bluetooth, and you are ready to go pretty constrained. It's still a mobile VR solution. And what that means is you can look from side to side, you can look up and down, you can tilt your head, but you can't move forward. You're not positionally tracked. You're not going to be able to move within virtual space. But just by virtue of having this controller, which can be anything. In the home environment, it's essentially a laser pointer that lets you select the apps you want to use. If you're playing in a game, it can turn into a wand. In other things, it can be a flashlight. Now, as for the stuff that's available on day one, it's really a mix of Google's own apps uh, and third party. So on the Google side, you have YouTube VR, you have Google Street View, you have a whole suite of arts and culture experiences that can take you inside a museum. Uh, and then on the third party side, you've got small games and lightweight puzzle games and RPGs, Star Chart, which is kind of an astronomy exploration experience. Um, more and more things are coming. You know, even, even now, Netflix and HBO Now and Hulu are all coming if they're not here already on day one and there's a ton of other there's like 40 other things uh, that are coming between now and the end of the year so this is an ecosystem that's going to be growing very quickly and it's also an ecosystem of phones and headsets that are going to be growing very quickly while right now it's just the daydream view and it only works with the pixel which is only available on Verizon there are a number of Android phone manufacturers that are making their next phones daydream ready and so as time goes on there are going to be more phones that you can use in the daydream view and maybe even some other headsets they're going to be able to use those phones in. But for now, if you have a Pixel already or you're a Verizon customer who's thinking about getting one, then for $79, the Daydream View is a pretty nice and comfortable way into virtual reality.